Hey, if you're running a WordPress website and you have wanted to do a giveaway or some sort of a raffle on your website, allowing folks to enter for a giveaway and you want to set some guidelines, some rules around how they enter this giveaway. Maybe you want to eliminate fraud and, and be certain that there aren't any fraudulent entries. I found the plugin that's going to help you do it. And I'm going to show you right now how to get it all installed on your WordPress website. Hey y'all, my name is Corey Ashton and welcome to another WordPress Wednesday. You found a YouTube channel dedicated to all things WordPress. And I'm excited to be giving away something. Finally, I have figured out the raffle plugin that's working great for me. So check this out y'all. I am actually giving away JBL wireless headphones. You get a chance to win these in my giveaway today. So be sure to follow the link below and go check out the raffle. And if you're ready to run your own raffle on your WordPress website, I'm gonna show you the plugin and how to get it set up right now. RafflePress is the plugin that I will be showcasing today, showing you how to get it all installed. The great thing to know is they do have a free option that's pretty powerful in and of itself, but I went ahead and invested in the pro version that allows me to have a couple of extra features that I thought were pretty important. And for those of you interested in grabbing a license right now, they've got a great deal going on for a 4th of July discount. So be sure to get in on that really great savings right now. I'll put a link in the description box below. I only went with the plus version for now. Really, I only need to put it on one website. But for those of you who might want to put it on multiple websites or potentially have some of these amazing additional upgraded features, you might want to look at all the different comparisons of options just to be certain that you're getting the right type of features that you're looking for on your raffle, your giveaway. All right, let's jump into our WordPress dashboard and I'll show you how to get it installed. If you're wanting to stay in that budget of free, you would just go into your plugins area, click add new, and you're going to search up here for raffle press. And you would be able to find it here in the repository. There it is right there. Go ahead and click install now and activate. For those of you who might want the upgraded features like I did, um, you're going to actually purchase a license over here at rafflepress.com. Once you purchase that license, you will download the file. It's super easy to do. Download it just like you'd be downloading a photo. You come back over here and uh, instead of looking here in the repository, you go right up here to the top. See this section up here that says upload plugin? Click on that and you would choose your file and install now and then activate. I've already done that, so when I go to my installed plugins area, you can see right here, RafflePress Pro is what I have, and that allows me now to have a custom area here on the left side called RafflePress that allows me to have my giveaways, allows me to click Add New to add a new giveaway, and adjust any settings like adding in your license key. So be certain to do that as your first step if you've gone ahead and purchased this plugin. For the sake of the tutorial, I've already done that. So let's go into giveaways. I've got mine running already. This is my wireless headphones giveaway, my JBLs that I shared with you earlier. For today, they're celebrating with that 60% off. Again, great deal. Normally that would not be here in the screen. This is how traditionally you would see this screen and you would want to just click this orange button that says add new. Going in here, you're going to have the opportunity to go ahead and name your giveaway. So you can say iPad giveaway. Maybe someday I'll be able to do that. That'd be pretty cool. And then you can start to select your templates. They have a classic giveaway, a grow your email list, a refer a friend, a pre-launch campaign giveaway, grow your YouTube channel, grow your Instagram following, right? That's what these are. Uh, grow your Facebook page or grow your Twitter following. And y'all, this is the one I'm using right here. Grow your YouTube channel. Uh, really, you can do any of these. Uh, for the sake of the iPad one, I'm gonna go ahead and click the classic. Moving in here, you can name your prize. And then you can go ahead and add in any sort of details that you might wanna add here. Uh, maybe about shipping is not included, you know, whatever you might want to add. 
And then you're going to go ahead and add in a photo of the item that you're giving away, which is always nice to add. So you can select it from your library or you can go ahead and upload the photo right there. And then you're going to go ahead and move over here to this left side and go ahead and list out the start and the end time for your raffle. So you might want to start it, you know, in a couple of days directly at noon, and then you want to end it maybe 24 hours later again directly at noon you can set it to whatever you'd like it to be and of course if you want to have a different time zone you can do that as well by default the plugin should pick up your designated time zone that you have in your settings on wordpress so you shouldn't really have to mess with that on this far left side we're going to move into actions when you go here these are the things that we're asking folks to do in order to enter the raffle so you would be able to add any of these that you like you could say follow us on facebook you click that little plus and see how it moves the option right over here underneath your raffle it's starting to build out what your raffle is going to look like and you can add the value so basically if they do this if they visit your facebook they would have one entry if they visited your Facebook and you set it to two, then they would be entered twice. So this is a really cool little value system and you can offer this to rank the different actions that you have here. So if you have a high value of maybe watching a video, like I would, we're gonna say watch video, I'm gonna grab that, move that to the top because that's my highest priority. On that one, I'm gonna say that you get five times if you watch that video and then Going back here to the visit us on Facebook, let's say two times, we can go back to add more actions. You can see all of these different actions. If you're trying to get them to follow you on TikTok, you can add that in there. Of course, you're gonna just drop in your URL here so that um, it follows the correct channel. Isn't this just cool? I mean, you really can get creative with all the different things that you have here. Um, adding in these different actions. Some of these are muted out and that's simply because my license doesn't give me access to those certain features. So again, you wanna be certain that you're looking at that features list so that you're getting all of the different things that you'd like to have. Entry options, uh, again, that's just the, the tab that you can go in and change any of these settings on any of these particular actions. Over in the design tab, you can go in here if you wanted to and kind of change up the, the layout for these things. If you wanted to, you can have the image up top and then put the content down below, which I think is pretty nice. Um, you always are going to have how many entries are there, how many total entries, and then when it starts and ends. And that creates that sense of urgency, which is really cool. Uh, you can actually hide the total number of entries if you like in your settings section. I'll show you that in a second. But you can customize the font to look closer to your style of your website if you'd like. Um, and you can change the button color if you'd like to something that's a little bit more on brand for you. And the, the uh, background color here, that's if you're using a standalone page. And select an image, again, if you're using a standalone page. For now and for my license, I really just have the option of creating this as a short code or as a block and dropping it on a page or a post. Lastly, I'm going to go into my settings area here. This is where you have, again, just kind of some general things. This is where you can hide the total entries if you'd like to. You can show the winner once the winner is selected. Um, if my license were upgraded, I could limit some things and set some different parameters here. Um, you have some giveaway rules. If you'd like to add in any fine print, you can add that in here. This is pretty important to do, especially if you're doing any sort of affiliate giveaway. You wanna be certain to add in those rules so that people can understand um, basically what the rules are of the giveaway and they won't be surprised. Um, if you're struggling with that, they do have a rules generator template right here. If you click on that, you can add in some names. If you have a sponsor, you can add in that information there. If you had a minimum age, you can do that, or maybe eligible locations. So if you're only shipping to the US, right, you can say that and generate the rules. And then it literally just drops everything in there for you. So, so nice, uh, really, really official looking, very, very good. And you'll wanna click save up here in the top right-hand corner, right? 
You've got a couple of other options you can do in there. I think this is really, really important for eliminating fraudulent email entries. So you'll want to say that each entry has to confirm their email. This could be important for them to do. So just toggling that to on again, clicking save allows that to be in place. Now you can have tracking, you can have a redirect if your license is high enough and you can add in some other really cool options here for uh, GDPR and security purposes. With that, my raffle is complete and ready to roll out. So I'm done here. You can come up here to this left side, see the publish option right up here? Clicking that publish takes us to this screen that says, do we wanna use a WordPress block? Do we wanna drop it in with short code? Or do we actually wanna have that landing page, that dedicated landing page? I don't need that as that is an upgraded license. I'm not gonna use that. So I'm gonna use the short code. When you choose that option, they're gonna give you a quick video to help you better understand how to use that. But I'll show you right here. I'm gonna click this little icon next to my short code. That puts that on my clipboard and I can exit out of this screen up in the top right-hand corner, click X. And now it takes me back to my raffle screen here and I can go in now and create a page or a post, really drop this in anywhere I want. I'm gonna do it into a page, add new. This is our iPad giveaway. And of course I'm using Divi Builder. So I'm gonna use the Builder. You can do this just in blocks though. You don't have to use the Divi Builder, right? You can just drop it in with blocks. Um, and I am just going to paste in the short code. There it is, that's for my clipboard. Drop that in there. And now I've got my beautiful entry, my raffle right here, ready to roll out. Now, right now it says it's not currently running. And that's simply because I set the time to start in a couple of days. So that's really nice. It puts it on lockdown, allows people to still see the page, but doesn't allow them to engage with the raffle just yet. Of course, you can add any other details you want to to this page. You can add in other blocks. You can add in other Divi modules if you're running on Divi, whatever you like done. But go ahead and click publish and you've got your page ready to roll. One last thing to note that's a really cool feature on RafflePress is when you have all of your entries and the raffle has ended, you can come in here and see which one actually needs to have a winner selected, right? If you wanted to go in here, you can pick a winner. See this right here? If I'd had a bunch of entries sitting right here, this allows me to not have to manually pick a winner. It's gonna ask me how many winners do I need to pick? Do I want to use unverified emails or only verified and then choose a winner now? So if you're only allowing verified emails, that probably needs to be in that rules section of your raffle. But um, this is really just so cool so that it will randomly choose one for you and then you can contact the winner to let them know and then get any sort of information for shipping details, anything like that that you might need from them. You can take your URL and share it anywhere you like out in the wild so that people can get here easily and quickly and engage with your raffle. For the sake of now, I'm just kind of showing you what this would look like. I'm gonna go back into my raffle and change the timeline to actually start right now so you can see what that looks like if that were opened up. Going back into my dashboard, back into raffle press, going to my iPad giveaway, and I'm gonna go into edit. And I'm gonna go ahead and just have it start right now. Click save. I can go back to that page now, making that one simple change. And let's view it now. So it says 16 days left, and there are our three options for folks to be able to enter, and that's it. So you can use your email, log in, and then follow these actions and get those extra entries right there. And now I would have uh, a person ready to be our winner. If y'all follow my channel, you know I love giving stuff away and it's one of my favorite things to do. Finally, with this plugin, I'm gonna be able to do this. I hope that you take a minute to go enter the raffle and win these. I'd love to mail them to you. As for right now, I have to keep it within the US. I'll look at what it would be to do an international giveaway another time, but for today, uh, these are going to somebody in the US and I'm gonna run this raffle through the end of July, 2022. 
If you're watching this video after that time, be sure to check out my website anyway. More than likely, I'm running another raffle. I hope this has been helpful for y'all. Please click like and subscribe. Come back, hang out with me every single week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye everyone. Thank you.